Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for taking the time to like the videos. Thank you for taking the time to subscribe and share this channel. All right, let's get you to it. Let me show you what I'm seeing out there again. Here we are in the Caribbean. And this here, this kind of almost frontal boundary stretching down from a system up to the north, helping to draw in some moisture, that is going to be bringing a surge of rain to parts of the Caribbean, especially the southeastern Caribbean. Bahamas back through Cuba. We're going to see some fronts moving. Moving by a big storm system, western United States, that's going to sweep across and eventually later this week, this weekend and early next week, bring some extra moisture to parts of the western Caribbean. So it is going to be very busy this week. Right now, this is the spot I'm keeping an eye on. So near Guyana and Suriname where we've had some rain, that is going to surge up to the north, especially tomorrow. But starting today in spots like Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to see that rain picking up. So this area, once again, it has been a very unusual pattern. It is hard to get into the dry season with this type of pattern. So we're going to see more rain here, even some spotty storms central and western Caribbean. Let me get to that here. Here's the, our tropical model. This is by Monday, one o'clock. So that's today. 1 o'clock this afternoon. Look at the rain right through here. I mentioned the rain near Guyana and Suriname, how that lifts near Trinidad and Tobago. That's the surge of moisture I'm going to keep an eye on. Today, some spotty showers and storms. Southern Haiti, so by Jock Mel, we may see some. Edging back toward Jamaica, scattered showers and storms. And then Belize, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. So again, Trinidad and Tobago on the edge of it today. Northern Venezuela seeing some rain. Then look what happens tomorrow. This is Tuesday. 2 o'clock. So tomorrow afternoon, you see that rain working in. This will eventually include Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, St. Lucia. A higher chance of rain tomorrow will be on the edge of it near Dominica, Martinique, Guadeloupe. So I'm going to keep an eye on all of us. But you see the rain right there, still in Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago. And then spotty showers and storms still tomorrow in Belize. A few in the northern Bahamas. Now as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday, this morning, moisture still in place for a lot of us, but then starting to build toward the ABC Islands. So Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, Northern Colombia, still Northern Venezuela. You see that chance of rain picking up by the time we get into the middle of the week and still anywhere from a really Guadalupe South, we have that higher chance of rain all the way through Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Dominica, higher chance of rain, Southeastern Caribbean, but you see how it kind of surges back toward the ABC Islands and then picking up a little bit more so in the Western Caribbean, and then I'll keep an eye on the fronts. For late week, I'll be watching that big storm system pulling through the United States. So at least for today, I'm going to track the flooding. We could get 50 millimeters of rain in some spots, Suriname, Guyana in particular, and then right on the edge of Trinidad and Tobago. It may hold off for the good portion of the day, and then eventually start to move in watching northern Venezuela. Now, as far as the seas go, they're still up. They're not as crazy as what we had late last week and this weekend, but you get a look here, uh, this here, this kind of blue shading right here as you get toward uh, Puerto Rico, the British U U.S. Virgin Islands, swinging back toward Antigua, Barbuda, uh, over toward Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat. We could see some spots around two meters as far as the wave heights are concerned. That's six feet, six to about nine feet just offshore north side there of the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico and some of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands still choppy over towards St. Martin, uh, St. Croix, St. Thomas, seeing that. And then you see the purple shading here, not quite as much, a little bit bumpy in some spots. And as you get back toward Panama, again, upwards of about two meters just offshore in this pocket in the Southern Caribbean, so upwards of about six feet right about here. So still a little bit choppy. Now let me get to the forecast today, and we're going to see a big difference today versus tomorrow. This is today in Barbados, winds east, northeast at 24. Partly cloudy skies, not bad at all. Mainly on the dry side, slight chance of a shower. Most of the actions to the south. By tomorrow, though, a much better chance of rain in Barbados. We swing here, St. Kitts and Nevis, 28 degrees today. That's 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Partly cloudy, not a ton. Passing shower or storm. But even in St. Kitts and Nevis, the rain chance will pick up a little bit tomorrow, but more so down to the south. Barbados to the south tomorrow, that higher chance of rain. Here's Trinidad and Tobago, for example. Late today, a 70% chance of rain. So it's not all day. That 70% chance is really later in the day. I showed you the rain 
just off to the south of most of us now. But as the day goes on, it'll be moving closer, more so in Trinidad. And then tomorrow, that high chance of rain. Still keep an eye on those river levels from the historic flooding we had a few weeks back. So I'll monitor everything for us, Trinidad and Tobago, back through northern Venezuela, down through Guyana with this uh, rain event. So the Caribbean rain surges mainly for the southeastern Caribbean at least the next couple days before we start watching some fronts together later this week. Keep an eye on the rivers, those choppy seas that I mentioned in some locations and then this rain will start to build toward the ABC islands as the week goes on. I showed you that with our computer model as we get back toward the middle of the week watching near a northern Columbia and the ABC islands and then generally active. So we get this surge of moisture now and then later this week watching the fronts. Please keep me posted what's going on in the comment section. It's a good way we could all let each other know, especially because a lot of us will be right on the edge of some rain over the next couple of days. Keep me posted. I'll do my best to get to the comments. Again, thank you for liking this video. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.